Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use MapKit inside of your application with Swift and Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is what we want to accomplish inside of this tutorial. We have our pizzeria, just a random pizzeria, loaded up into our scene, and it's going to have an annotation that will say Pizzeria Restaurante. It'll be the name of the pizza that we are loading up inside of our MapKit. And it's also going to load up in a specific view so it's not confusing to the user. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing we need to do is open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. This is going to be a single view application. Click Next, and our product name I am just going to call mine Map. And our language will be set to Swift, and our devices will be set to iPhone. Click Next and Create. And now let's just open this up a bit bigger for you guys, and let's head over to our main.storyboard. And I'm just going to add our map kit view onto our scene. So right down here, our map kit view. Just click and drag that over to our view controller. And we're going to right click or control click and drag from that map kit view over to our view right over here. And we're going to center vertically, center horizontally, you have it make it have equal heights and equal widths. So now it's going to fit perfectly inside of our view. Now let's go over to our viewcontroller.swift file and we're going to import our map kit class. So just say import map kit and also import, and this is actually map capital K kit. And then we're also going to import our core location like so. So now this is going to allow us to use their, their uh, frameworks or their code that they've already done for all these map kits and whatnot and we're going to utilize that inside of our own application so now that that's done let's go over to our view controller and into our view did load and before we do this let's go over to our main dot storyboard open up our assistant editor and we're going to right click or control click and drag from our map kit view and create an outlet and this outlet is going to name our map so I'm just going to call my map map now connect, and now we have it connected up and we have our outlet called map. Now let's go over to our view did load and we're going to say, we're going to create an annotation to put inside of our map. So if we were actually to build and run this right now, it wouldn't work exactly properly. Uh, we it would load up so you would see this, but we want to add an annotation into this uh, view and make it a bit easier for people to find a location to like your, the store that they're referencing or anything like that. So let's go ahead and continue on and add an annotation so we can see this view. So first off we need to say c uh, var location equals cl location coordinate 2d and this is going to be a 2d make and our latitude will just be I actually have latitude and longitude open up inside of Mar, inside of uh, Safari and you could just look this up on the internet but I have a universe media dot papers whatever and yeah I'll link it down in the description down below but you can also just search uh, latitude longitude or co coordinate finder uh, Google Maps or something like that this is how I found found out about this and I have just a random pizzeria and I have the latitude and longitude right there. So I can easily just take this latitude, copy, and paste that into the latitude inside of our coordinate that we just created. I'm gonna add a space so this is a little bit easier to look at. And then we need our longitude. So like that, and just put that right inside of there. So now we have our location set up, and now we want to take this location and add an annotation wherever that uh, location is. So we can say var annotation equals mk point annotation, open parentheses, close parentheses. So now we have this annotation created, and now we're going to add uh, where this annotation should be put and also where the title and what the subtitle and title of this annotation should be. So we can say annotation dot set title I'm sorry set sorry we're just gonna set the coordinates first and the coordinates is actually the location that we just created right up here so inside of this dot set coordinate we can just put location 
a location. So now we have this annotation with that we have created, and then we can also say annotation dot title is equal to, and we'll just put in the name of the pizzeria. So we can say pizza restaurante rante like so and annotation dot subtitle so this is like if you had any additional information it would be luna rosa or equals luna rosa so now we have our annotation with our title and our subtitle and i'll show you what this show looks like right now so if we built and ran this we will now have an annotation built in wherever where this place is which is actually down in Paris and if you hold option you actually can get this to zoom in and that's right we didn't add this annotation onto our scene that's why it wasn't loading up so we need to say map dot add annotation and we're going to add the annotation that we just created so now if we built and ran this we should see our annotation and it's right over here in Paris so now we can just zoom in on our annotation. Now if you were actually doing this for an application, this would be quite annoying for uh, the, the navigators of your app because they wouldn't be able to find whatever they were looking for really fast if, or find your restaurant really fast. So in order to fix this, you want to create, or when this map loads up, you want it to be exactly where this restaurant is. Say right here, we would make this restaurant appear in this little window right here. So you would see it automatically. And then also, if you click on this annotation right now, you will see Pizza Ristorante, Ristorante, which is the title that we created right here. And then you have the subtitle, Luna Rosa. So now we're gonna make this a bit easier for the user of your application. So when your app loads up, it's in that specific area where that restaurant is. So in order to do this, you just say var span equals mk coordinate span make. And this latitude delta and the longitude delta, this will be equal to 0 0.02. And I'll show you exactly what this means. This will be 0 0.2 and our longitude will be also 0 0.2. And I'll show you exactly what this means in just a moment. So now we have that done and then we can say var region is equal to mk coordinate region region and then open parentheses and this is going to be the center so the center of your region would be exactly where your location is for your pizzeria and then your span would be the span that you just created so this is the region that we want to show up on our map and so now you want to add this region onto your map by saying map dot set region and this will be the region that we just created or animated this will be equal to true sorry true because it is a bool so now we are setting the region of our map to the region that we created right up here with the span of the span that we created right here and we're setting the center of the, to the location that we created right up there. So now if we were to build and run this, you will see that it will load up in the exact location that we want it to. So now we have loaded up and there is our pizzeria right in the middle of our scene, like so. But you might be thinking, oh, well, I don't want it to show so many of this, so much of the city. So in order to fix this, you would need to change your span. So I'm going to make mine 0 0.0002. That way we have a very tight coordinate uh, location. So now if we were to build and run this, you will see that it will load right there in front of our pizzeria restaurante. So there you have it. That is how you use UI map kit. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.